This is Pirelli P0PZ4 and today I will review, take some measurements and tell you about characteristics of this tire. Let's make a measurement of the hardness of the compound with a durometer. As always, I will take three measurements and get the average. If it's so far that tire more comfortable has better grip but shorter tread life. So first measurement is 66.5, second 70, and third 67.5, and average 68. As you can see from our comparison chart, this is hard compound. Let's weigh the tire. If the weight is low, then the tire is more economical, I mean fuel, and gives an increase in dynamics and due to balance of sprung and unsprung masses is more comfortable. Average weight of all tires in this size is 10.5 kg, weight of this tire in this size 9.4 kg and it's a light tire. And now the tread depth. It determines how much water the tire can remove from the contact spot at the moment and with the hardness of the rubber compound determines how long tire will last. You can see that the tread depth 7.4 mm and it is a good. We can see that the sidewall is not elastic. Next. The sidewall thickness is one of the characteristics showing how durable the tire and the norm is from 5 to 8 mm. Here 5.8 mm. Good. The tire has a split tread pattern between the outer and inner halves. The outer half is designed with the aim of good tire handling, so it contains fewer cuts and in turn as many robust blocks of rubber as possible. The inner side of the tread on the other hand provides good straight line traction and tries to prevent aquaplaning and as we can see rolling resistance is high, so this tire has not so good fuel economy. Noise level is low, I like it. Breaking this rate on the red is very good. In summary, we can say that this tire is engineered for active sport driving. Thank you for watching, like this video and subscribe for my tire channel. Bye.